when 2.2 has been released and by the end of the video we'll see different video examples and not only this we'll also compare it with the vo3 and also i'll tell you a guide how you can install it on your local machine even if you have low vram and don't worry it's not really the complex comfy ui interface i'll give you a software which you just need to install and just in one click you can run all the latest ai video models and image models including van 2.2 in just one click so it's gonna be very interesting stay till the end of the video and you're watching skill curve so let's go simple to the main page of this van 2.2 so you can see it's a very github page uh, they recently updated it you can see there are like four effective things they noted like effective architecture cinematic level aesthetics and complex motion generation and so these are the like the features it has now so it's going to be interesting to see what kind of video is generating okay so first we have to see a lot of videos to get you an idea what kind of video it is generating and then we will go to the installation part so let's go to the simple van 2.2 2.2 videos and the first video we have is very interesting so the first video you have you can see on the screen is a golden hour soft lighting warm color saturated colors white short left heavy composition you can read the entire prompt on your screen so it's a boat you know uh, on a vatican kind of city it almost like italy's venice so the boat guy is statically standing on the board and slowly diving it and it looks really interesting the water physics and the entire stuff which i would say it's 10 on 10 by the way so yeah i can say that vo van 2.2 is doing actually a good job here and it's actually comparable to vo3 so yeah i can say that yeah people are actually right when it comes to co comparing it however it has no sound effects so let me tell you so this is a very um, bad cons okay so you can see the entire prompt on the left side so the video looks interesting but we have so many videos to talk about so this is just one of them okay you can compare it with the vo3 on the right side so you get an idea who is doing better well both are good at different prompts by the way so another video we have is very interesting so it's a cinematic new york uh, lha so it's a, like a uh, detective running towards and the camera behind is a pov moment cold tones high contrast you can read the entire prompt the prompt is pretty small not very detailed but the video came out of very detailed so it's, it's really interesting okay so i can say that it's it's doing good so the way this guy is running right now wearing this coat of detective coat and it's raining and reflective streets makes it a little bit yeah, new york vibe okay so we can say that van is doing good job till now okay so another video we have this guy dancing look at the video so this guy is dancing and the physics movement i would say it's perfectly aligned so i can say that yeah so when 2.2 is actually doing good job and the human too like the way uh, his feet are moving and both looks really good okay and the way it's raining uh, in the background and water splash it's also good so it actually covering most of the interacting detail which is required when it comes to video generating model and the prompt was not very detailed it was a cinematic rain scene centered medium shot of a champlain style tap dancer so it's like a charlie champlain type dancer black and white film green high contrast and soft lighting and i would say the prompt adherence is really good in this model so yeah maybe this model is one of the next back thing i can say so another video we have is very interesting okay so it's an underwater ballroom so transparent jellyfish glowing gently between marble columns couples in the former attire gracefully in the center of the dance floor men in the black tuxedos women in the flowing long dress so it's a very dancing couple wedding type of video in the aquarium which is pretty transparent you can see the jellyfishes and one thing you can notice is the jellyfish movement is really subtle and it makes the video much realistic however i always wanted it has a sound effects to make the video much better however i can say that the five second video generated by van 2.2 is really effective actually um so let's see the next video okay so the next video is also very interesting so it's a very cinematic airport scene centered slower motion handheld shot of the lover's gaze across security lines it's a it's a basic scene like you know the basic airport uh cinematic romantic movie scene where the two people are actually seeing each other however the facial expression of both is a little bit very vague actually it's not very explainable but the background thing the movement of other people you know going with trolley bags is interesting however the movement of the girl is also is very subtle which makes the video pretty unrealistic but overall i can say that in the such prompt it's a good job okay another video we have is very interesting 
So this video is about in a pixel art scene, a couple in a formal evening walking together, uh, hand holding an umbrella, suddenly heavy rain pours down. So you can see the entire prompt. I'm not going to read it all, but it's very boring. But you can see that it's a very interesting rainy city, uh, you know, scene and these two couples are actually walking one thing you can notice is the human structure of the body band 2.2 did a very well job here the background movement is also actually real look like a city and it's not like someone is going vanished out of nowhere it's actually lasting long so i can say that the vo so van 2.2 is doing actually good job and maybe it's the way van 2.0 increasingly good Okay, let's talk about so many videos. So we have another video. We have a cinematic golden hour scene of a circular surrounding shot of a young man in the sunlight. And it's a very front shot, you know, to get you an idea of what kind of human generation it can create. So I would say Van 2.2 a good job. Look at the video first. The video has a very sunlight exposure and at the same time, the human look of this guy is also looking really interesting. I can say that uh, the beard and the mustache, okay, it's seriously interesting. I would say I did not expect this to be this good for an open source model, by the way. Okay, so there are also some of the videos we have to see. So this video you can see on the right side by VO3 and left side by the same van 2.2. So it's a car chase on, on the mountain hills, you know, or... A very interesting the warm colors edge lighting so we did the same prompt to the vo3 and it generated much better actually so i would say vo3 has a more of a you know background camera scene while this uh, van 3 van 2.2 generated the camera angle from the top of the uh, like helicopter structure but overall both videos have a very good clarity and i can say that both video models are actually good at them Okay, another video we have is also a similar kind of video we already viewed. So it's a black and white scene of a couple in formal evening walk, hand holding an umbrella, suddenly happy rain pours down, and the camera pans slowly to the right, capturing their, uh, you know, the entire rain huddling closer together. And oh god, this is really, really realistic. Like, okay, the background movement and the way the car is moving from the left of them. Okay, I'm really impressed the way, you know, this black and white scenery is. And the prompt accuracy is also something I need to talk about. The Van 2.2 is doing a really interesting job when it comes to prompt accuracy. So this video is a time-lapse video of a crane slowly lifts a steel beam on a construction site. The camera pulls black slowly from the close-up, revealing details of the crane and the steel beam, the skyline transition from day to night. And gosh, this video is really interesting. A time-lapse video from AI, that is also itself is a very complex thing because sometimes AI messes a lot when it comes to time-lapse video. But this video did well, actually, by the open source model, which is itself is a very good surprising detail because like there is no way an open source model doing actually this good job. However, one thing notice is that text are still not very readable. So maybe AI video still needs some text advancement like VO3 actually did some improvement also, but it's still not very up to the mark. Another video we have a surreal, you know, a surreal dreamlike style video, which is very interesting. So, so the woman is actually holding a sign of a music tone, and it's a six second long video in the desert, and desert itself looking almost realistic, and the way she's walking is good. However, I don't have much to explain in this video because this video itself is a little bit tricky because the prompt was really detailed on the screen. You can see that. So. Okay, so we have seen enough videos, I guess. Okay, there are so many videos else. If we start watching them, we'll be actually lost in the time. So now it's time to let's see and see what exactly, how we can install it on our local machine and how we do it. It's very interesting. So simply come to the van.vo slash generate button. And here you can actually generate the video. If you have enough credits, it will generate fast. If you don't have much credits like me, it will generate slowly. But how you can generate it um, on your local machine, it's very interesting thing. So simply this is the van 2.0. You can see on the screen, it's a basic GitHub page or repository. Here you can access some of the models like Hugging Face uh, repository. You can download it and you can use it on Comfy. But it's actually very complicated for normal users. So I have a better plan. Okay, let's see. So we have this tool named van to GP. Okay, so simply go here. All the link is in the description, by the way. Simple GitHub repository and go to the installation part. The link is in the description. So you just simply go directly here. So you can see that there is installation guide.md and there's a big installation guide. So don't get confused. I'll tell you what to do first. Okay, simply just open the command prompt. If possible, open it as a run as administrator. Okay, once you open it here, you can see now just git clone van to gp now once you copy this command and paste it 
if it does not work you have to go to the git website here you can see on the screen and download git software and once you downloaded it you can also download python 3.10 and if you don't have conda simply go to the conda's website and download this mini conda you can see on the screen and that's it and make sure you have some compatible gpu okay you can read it on the guidelines it's not that big issue now once you git clone the repository you can see the folder is looking interesting now what you need to do is in the command prompt look cd van to gp what this prompt will do is will give you the folder access and now you have to run the command like conda create hyphen and van to gp with this python environment and it will activate van to gp it will take a little bit time so just wait and watch and once you install it it's time for something interesting now time to install the pytorch in the step two you can just copy it from the guideline installation readme file once you copy it just simply paste it once you activate the entire conda environment you can see how you're gonna do it just simply paste it and once you paste it it will take a lot of time actually you download some large files like 3 gb files 4 gb files and once it does simply click on this third step which is install the requirement .txt. now it will download all the dependencies and requirements so if you haven't code ever you may not get this point so just copy it and paste it and that's it there are also some optional steps like which will increase the speed of your generation like if you have a 50xx type of compatible rtx and you can upload the step 4 or you can use ch2 for attention for 40 percent faster speed well i can do it simply just paste the pip install triton windows but i would say just simply ignore it if you don't want a lot of mesh so yeah the the van gp has been already installed now simply just run this python.bind to gp this command and that's it Okay, so this is van to gp tool and it's totally offline. You can see on the uh, on your screen, it's a local host 7860. So this is the port it requires to run. And this is the main interface of this. Okay, it may look a little bit complicated, but less than comfy UI. So how are we gonna use it? Okay, so on the left side, you can see there are 2.0, LTX video, Hanion, Flux, Quinn. So all the open source model are here. So you have to click the man 2.2. And here there are five ways, like 14 billion parameter or five billion parameter. So if you don't know about much them, so 14 billion parameter will be uh, more detailed, more better quality. And five billion parameter will have not much quality. So yeah but it will be faster so you can click any of them for example i click text to video here and you can see they are setting like text to video image to video so i would go with text to video and text to video will help me to generate images so here either you can click on prompt only and once you click here you have to prompt it you do have to enter the prompt i will enter the prompt letter and here you can see the category i want to generate high quality video so you can click on 720p and once you click on 720p it will generate 16 ratio 9 which is another uh, youtube level quality on the number frames i would select it the 5 and the 30 interference inference steps will be enough if you want to generate a good video and you don't need to you know uh, mess with anything else that's more than enough and now you have to just go and simple enter your prompt okay so i have a very interesting prompt which will be generate the video out of it and i just pasted it so it's a close-up short transitioning a wide short daylight so it's a entirely big prompt you can read it so what is this prompt is like a guy you know in the middle of the ocean and the holding board and stuff you can read it in that prompt and we have to just simply click on here and generate the video okay that's it that's the main part of the video you can click on here and generate and once you click on generate it will start downloading the latest model from online and you have to wait a little bit until it downloads the model and that's it now you can see the video now If you like this video, just simply click on like button, share it, and for more such cutting edge tutorial, latest technologies videos every day, just subscribe to the channel.